My name is Debbie Brothers, and the name of my study is The Impact of Computer-Based Instruction versus Teacher-Directed Instruction when Teaching Students with Mild to Moderate Disabilities. This study took place in a Jessamyn County High School within a self-contained resource classroom. The participants had access to a full kitchen and with all the necessary equipment that would be needed to follow the given recipe. For students in this classroom, uh, the skills necessary for independence can often be complicated and difficult, requiring repeated exposures and multiple practices. Individuals with mild to moderate disabilities often require more exposure and opportunity to practice these skills, but it's necessary for them to acquire the strategies that will follow them through life. The purpose of the study is to explore the impact of computer-based instruction compared to direct teacher instruction on task completion. My hypothesis is when presented with the task of following a recipe, the use of teacher-directed instruction will prompt better results. The challenges facing every individual as they gain independence can be overwhelming. The challenges individuals with mild to moderate disabilities face are even greater. Griffin, Woolery, and Schuster say the practice of functional skills is necessary in the education of students with mild to moderate mental disabilities, and the acquisition of these skills is vital for independent living. It is important for high school students with disabilities to have more responsibilities and opportunities for decision making to prepare them for independence. High school students with mild to moderate disabilities must have opportunities to practice independent living skills that the general education population may acquire more easily on their own. High expectations for individuals with lower incident disabilities requires them to work at their highest level of performance and will prepare them for independent living, enabling persons with intellectual disabilities to carry out daily living tasks prepares them to become active and productive members of society. This came from Couture, Bernspang, and Fisher, 2003. Within this study, task analyses that suited the ability levels of the participants were used to record the data for each participant. I also used progressive time delay with an increasing amount of time between the stimulus and assistive prompt. A direct teacher instruction and computer-based instruction was also used. These were both used with time delay. Uh, time delay is a method that's available to implement uh, task analyses. Uh, this came from Houston and Thomas, 2003, and Fitzgerald, Curry, and Mitchum, 2008. My research design is single subject alternating treatment design. I had two subjects in this study. Subject A is a 10th grade 15 year old female. She has a mild to moderate mental disability with an IQ of 57. She likes to read. She interacts well with her peers both within a group and individually. She requires uh, no support in personal care. Subject B is a 10th grade 15 year old male. He has a mild to moderate mental disability as well, an IQ of 62. He also interacts well with his peers, both in a group and one-on-one. -on -one. He requires no support and personal care. My independent variables are computer-based instruction and teacher-directed instruction. My dependent variable is the participant's correct completion of the steps within the recipe task analyses. For my procedures, in this study I gave the participants a recipe to follow. The participants were told, follow this recipe. In the probe stages of the study, that is the only prompt that was given to the participants. Uh, within the intervention phases, uh, using time delay, I or the computer could read a step aloud after the time had lapsed if, if the participant could not complete it. If the participant completed the step independently, a plus was recorded on the data sheet. If they couldn't complete the step independently, a minus was recorded. This uh, sheet on the right side of this slide is an example of one of my data collection sheets. The next thing we're going to look at is my first graph. This graph is for subject A. I'm showing the results from 
teacher directed instruction. Within each condition, there was an increase in the percent of independent responses. The graph has an ascending trend line, and the participant met the goal of 80% in B3 within the last condition. Graph 2, it shows results for subject A with computer based instruction. There was an increase of percent of independent response within each condition. The largest increase occurred during the intervention phase of C2, where the participant actually exceeded the goal of 80% with an 85% in independent responses. She had a slight um, decline in C3, followed by another increase where she um, reached the goal of 80% within C3. The trend line is also ascending for this graph. This is graph 3. This shows the results for subject B with teacher-directed instruction. He had an increase in the percent of independent responses within each condition. He also had a decline within B2. His trend line for the trend line for this graph is ascending. He did meet um, the goal of 80% of independent responses within the last intervention, B3. This is graph 4. It shows the results for subject B for computer based instruction. There was an increase in the percent of independent responses within each condition. Within C3, the participant had a 30% decrease but he did rebound and meet the goal of 80% in the third session of that intervention. My research findings, my hypothesis was not supported by my research findings. My results were inconclusive. Both participants did well with both teacher-directed and computer-based instruction. My hypothesis stated when presented with the task of following a recipe, the use of teacher-directed instruction will, will prompt a better result than the use of computer-based instruction. I found that both participants met the goal within each intervention and was actually surprised to find that Subject A exceeded expectations with computer-based instruction, getting 85% independent responses. The results of this study are inconclusive, as I stated before. The data collected shows that both interventions are useful for teaching functional skills to students with mild to moderate disabilities. In summary, some implications are teacher-directed instruction and computer-based instruction both have a place in a classroom. They both had success with both of the participants within the intervention. Some limitations are participants' prior knowledge of cooking. Uh, we did run into this limitation when I found uh, that both participants cooked at home. I actually had to prepare recipes um, that were more difficult. I had some task analyses prepared that were too simplistic for uh, these participants. So we adjusted that before we um, began taking the data uh, for the study. Another limitation can come from the experience the participants have with the accessibility mode on computers or the lack of experience that they might have can influence their ability to access that easily. Another issue could be, it, this was not one we ran into, it was not a limitation at all for us, was kitchen accessibility. They had a kitchen in their classroom so it was accessible every day and wasn't an issue for us. All of the materials were available for us to use. But if the study were to be reproduced somewhere else in another classroom, they may not have um, that access to a kitchen. Some improvements that would be useful in this study could be to learn more about participants' prior knowledge um, through interviews or recipe test probes um, before um, you're ready to start the study so that you're prepared and know exactly where the students stand. The participants in this study have a mild to moderate disability and they often require a lot of direct instruction. Knowing and finding that one participant performs better using computer-based instruction to complete a functional task, um, I think is very useful. There's no replacement for direct instruction. 
but there are times that an instructor may not be available or there may be times when an instructor may want to encourage some independence and computer-based instruction can allow individuals to find success independently. Um, can even be used at home. So times when a person might need extra support, a computer-based instruction is a resource that is available that could help him, and, him or her complete uh, a task. This strategy has a use for any task that is broken into steps, like the task analyses that I used in this study. The last four slides of this presentation is my bibliography, a list of all um, the research um, that I used within my thesis. I thank you for your time.